All right, for all those people I know that are ready, look at all these people. They are ready to go. They're not staring at their phone right now. They know that their earbuds or ear mufflers or, you know, ear biscuits or whatever you want to call it are off and away, right? Okay, so we're going to make sure that everyone is paying attention to me right now. 100%, right? Your ear dangler. Thank you. All right. So now for the people paying attention, this is page 25. So everyone updated their table of contents as we're going over this. Now, central means, uh, I'm sorry, measures of central tendency. Those are my mean, median, mode, and... There's another one, too. Yeah, the range. Yeah, range, range. Thank you. Range. Okay, so, yeah. If you've done this before, great. You guys are awesome. If you haven't done it before, then I'm going to treat it as if you've never done this. Okay. So, what we're going to have here is actually the last one is mid-range. Okay. Mid-range would actually be the top minus the bottom divided by two. Or basically the middle in between. So how far in between there? Anyway, we're going to go over that. Okay, mean, not just your math teacher. Come on. You know what? I'm trying here. Mean, math teacher. Two definitions of mean. Wow. That was a good one. That was, that was good right there. Okay. All right. So, the sum of the data items divided by the number of items. So this symbol right here, which looks like a weird E, is sum. That means add those all together. Okay? N is the number of items that we have. Sum of all the data, N is number items. There we go. Are you screen recording? Yes, I am. You forgot the joke. Oh, I did? Wow. Are you freaking kidding me? Let me say it. Let me say it. Let me whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so now, look, wait, who's got this? Lucky, Lucky, you got this, all right? I apologize. I can't believe I screwed this up. All right, okay. You ready? Lucky, Lucky, take this, take this. Class. Yes! Okay, well, let me try it again. Okay, so I know everyone paid attention. Let's try it again. So, class. Yes! There we go. All right, good. Now... Now, because it doesn't feel right. Without it, does it? No. Oh. It's like a theory. Oh, I, it. like, What's this man talking about? That I know. Right? Can't focus until that happens. Do you know what the weirdest thing is? Last year, last year, my computer didn't work at all. So I had to just put on the, the screen thing. So I couldn't do any recording. And so even though I wasn't recording, I was still doing that because it felt wrong. It, it was weird. Anyway, all right, calculating the mean. So the bar graph shows the price of a movie ticket for nine selective years from 1990 through 2019. Find the mean price of a movie ticket in this period, round to the nearest cent. Now, isn't it, I, I think it's like 14 bucks for a movie ticket now. Yeah. 14 is crazy. I just like $10. Uh, so I, I, still, I still go for the student discount. I still have my college ID. I'm like, nope, right here, student discount. Yeah, we get a screw yeah. yeah, you have $8, <laughs> $8 bro. I swear. Yes. Why you even pay more than two bucks for? Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. So what that means is I'm gonna take all these values. Oh, he got mad. Oh man. Seriously. Okay. You're going to take all these numbers here, add them up, and then we're going to divide by, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Not 9. I said before you. I said before you. Uh, okay, so add them up and divide by 9. So, and it says round to the nearest cent. Why would we round to the nearest cent, though? Because it's, it's decimal. Is this money? Yeah, this is money. Yeah, you're not gonna like you know scrape off a fraction of a penny, right? No. Okay, you're not gonna like try and cut that penny in half. No, no, it don't work out very well. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna add all those together. So in your numbers. Yeah, that's totally off topic, but you see. 
Oh, hey, you know what? Why not? I had long hair in high school. Okay. Yep. Yep. And 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 on every every track trip when we had to go out of town, girls on there be like, "Hey, let me braid your hair." So I ended up with corn rolls by the time we made it to all the tournaments. Man, you don't even know. Okay, so here we go. So I'm bringing up my numworks. I'm bringing up my numworks. Let's go to calculations. So we're going to go through. So help me out because I'm not looking at the page. What was the first number? Four point, I mean, two point six nine. Six nine? Yes, sir. Okay, plus. Plus. Four point two three three. Plus 4.39. 5.39? 5.39? 6.41. 6.41. 7.89. 7.89? 8.9? 8.43? There we go. So that's going to be the sum of all that. But that's not, that's the sum first. That's the sum. So we added them all together and we said we have to divide that number by. Oh, wait, crap. So, to be honest, you got to divide it by nine. Yep, there we go. And 579. That was the average ticket price over that. So, dang. All right. So, 5.79. There we go. And see that X with a line over it? Yeah. X bar? It's actually referred to as X bar or also just... That is the, that's the mean, or the average. So that's the symbol for it. So every time you see that in the notes, you know what it's actually referring to, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Calculating the mean for a frequency distribution. When many data values occur more than once and a frequency distribution is used to organize data, we can use the following formula, calculate the mean. So the sum of all this divided by the number of items. X represents each data value. Fx represents the frequency of the data value. And all this is the sum of all those products attained by multiplying each data value by its frequency. N represents the total frequency of the distribution. Let's say, for instance, I looked at my warm-up today. Indubitably. Indubitably, right? Okay, so right here, the frequency would be that I had the number 80. Was it 82? Was it 82 more than once? Yes, yeah. 82 happened more than once. So that would be a frequency. So I could just write 82 times 2, right? Yeah. But imagine if you had a whole bunch of numbers, but instead of just having 82 times 2, like you had to do, there was 82 10 times. That would be kind of annoying, wouldn't it? To keep having to write that over and over again. So... What you would do is you would multiply that number by how many times it occurred. And that's what this means for the frequency of the value times how many times it occurred. Okay. So, this one right here. So, the table right shows the student's response to the question, how stressed have you felt in the last two and a half weeks? Speaking of that, when's the last day I'm accepting any homework? Today. Thank you. Just to bring up your stress level a little bit. Okay, oh so goodness. how stressed have you felt the last two and a half weeks on a scale from zero to oh? Okay, with zero being not stressed at all and 10 being uh, being as stressed as possible. Use the frequency to dis, uh, distribution to find the mean of the stress level ratings. Okay, so what that means is this person got a rating of zero, right? Yeah. So zero happened how many times? Twice. Twice. So it would be zero, okay, two times. So if I were to write that out, it would be zero plus zero, right? Yeah. Okay. And 
for one. But once I get down into this range down here, those kind of suck. I don't want to write three 12 times, do I? No. No, I don't. So that's what that means that I'm going to do. So as we're doing this, okay, as I'm doing this, it's going to be zero times two. Plus, the next one is my stress rating, which is one, and it happened one time. And we're going to go through and add these together as we go. So I'm trying to help you set this up so when we put it in the calculator, it's going to be a lot easier to do because you don't want to try to count that you have 16 fours, right? You don't want to count that. You just want to do this. So as we keep going, it's going to be a stress level of two times three, a stress level of three times 12, stress level of four times 16, five, yep, six, 13, seven, 31, yep, eight, 26, 26, nine, 15, and 10 is 14. So what you're going to do, as you try to plug it in, yes, that guy. Uh, there is a list, and that one's gone. And then when that gets back, uh, whatever the hell that is, uh, it's going to go next, and then you can go after that. Okay, so put your name on the list so no one forgets. So... In my numWorks, I'm going to put 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 3, 2, and so on, right? And all of that is going to be divided by how many total I'm going to have here. Oh, yeah, you're right. How many total I'm going to have there? So I need to add together. I'm going to change color here. So I'm going to add together all these. And this is going to be my N value. So you people right now have your calculator out. And you are going to attempt this for me right now. That guy. Uh, 151. Give him a minute. Yeah, oh, girl. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Lost the pass again? I literally just put it down and someone took it. Sorry. Oh my goodness. How does that even hey, happen? I know. Take the brown. Where are you setting it down at that someone's stealing it? Where's it saying? Like, where the f your hand? You don't do that? Yeah, I just do plenty of I don't know. I, 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 I,
So it's about, that's what my wavy equal line, equal sign is. That's the about symbol, just so you know. So it's approximately or about, that means I rounded at some point there. Yeah. All right, so now, there we go. So the stress, stress rating is about 6.4. So all the people in here said that they are moderately stressed all the time because they stare at their phone when they're supposed to be doing their homework instead of actually doing their homework. And then come deadline time, they're like, oh, crap, I don't have enough time to do this. But, you know, what wasted all your time? All those stupid TikTok videos you're watching and makeup tutorials. And, and seriously, okay, P. Diddy, I don't even know why you're watching makeup tutorials, okay? <laughs> yes, is it, is it your moisturizing? Is that what it is? You don't need it, man. I'm telling you. Not bad, right? Okay. That's great. He's a funny guy. No, I know. Anyway, so there we go. And guess what? Even for those people that aren't paying attention, the next slide is already filled in for you. Boom. Median. Median refers to the middle. Middle. Okay. Middle of each set of rank or order data. Find the median of the group of data. Arrange them from smallest to largest. If the number of data items is odd, the median is the data item in the middle of the list. If the number of data items even, the median is the mean of the two. So I add the two middle numbers together and then divide by two. That's it. So we are going to find the median of this. For those people actually following and paying attention. So first step is to do what? 90. Now, come down, come down, come down. Put on order. Yes, please. Put them in order, right? Yeah, put them in order first. So, if we're putting them in order... 84, 88, And... Mark one off from each side. So divide it in the middle. Process elimination. So eliminate one from each side. There you go. So the median of that number set is going to be 90. There we go. And 3B. I want you people to try this one right now on your own. So you people are doing a math problem right now. Be a bad role model. These children look up to you. All right, again, put them in order. So, my smallest seven, 13, 15, 34, what was that? 57, 58, 59. There's a 59? Yeah. 59. Uh oh. 68 and 74. Like that? Did I miss any? No. Okay, good. So, again, mark them off, one from each side. 
Okay. So, add those two together. So, 28 and 34 is going to be 62. Divided by 2 is going to give me 31. So, median there is 31. 31, 31. So, guess what? I'm going to leave off there. You guys are all going to make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Support my channel. Buy stuff in the merch store. Okay? Yes. I know.